What we realised quite early on is that the girls needed to have consistency. When the tour came up, I mentioned to John, you know, well, what are your thoughts? Will there be a budget? Blah, 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 blah. And we kind of sort of had a conversation about that. And it seemed like the VR1 was absolutely the perfect solution. I've always liked the VR6, I've never used the VR1. But I saw this as an opportunity because of the smaller size of venues and the footprint that we needed was to get to grips with the VR1. And within half an hour of using it, I was back in the zone again. Everything is there, everything where I need to be. And there's no, there's no feeling that you're on a typewriter, which uh, I mentioned on the desks. But yeah, it's not it's just, it's just, it's just there. We're using the in-house analog multi, which means that I can have the game control. I'm then sending it up to John, who on the um, analog multi, in-house analog multi, which is then going into our digi stage box, which then um, at front of house, which then allows, allows John to. It also sounds as good as the VR6. Yeah.